lot of that flooding has receded, but you can see those problems remain this morning. Parts of the tri-state area pummeled by strong storms, flooding. Some drivers left stranded as a result. It was a mess. Problems also persisting for travelers. Flights faced a temporary ground stop due to the weather, and things weren't much better for uh, Amtrak passengers. Let's get right to good days. Briella Tomasetti, she's live outside Newark Penn Station with the latest on conditions this morning. Briella, good morning. What are you seeing out there? Yeah, well, Tashani and Dan, good morning to both of you. Inez reporting a few problems on her end, but I don't want to jinx it. Things are running pretty smoothly aside from those path issues here in New Jersey. Uh, again, after a night of treacherous weather, some Amtrak trains, though, running between New York and Washington in both directions have been canceled due to equipment issues. If this impacts you, Amtrak is saying that you will be honored on the next available service. Strong storms and flash flooding brought much of the tri-state area to a screeching halt last night. Citizen app video shows cars swallowed by floodwaters on I-78 in Hillside, New Jersey. Good Samaritans can be seen trying to help drivers trapped in their vehicles. We got to get a fire truck for him, man. Roads that weren't submerged were turned into parking lots with traffic backed up for miles. The transit system wasn't spared either. Last night, Amtrak service between New York and Philadelphia and a pair of New Jersey transit lines were stalled for more than two hours due to high waters over rails. Just before 10.30, service was restored with residual delays ranging between 30 and 90 minutes. We sat there for like about a good, maybe about a good 40 minutes. And more mayhem in the skies as emergency management officials temporarily issued ground stops at JFK, LaGuardia, and Newark airports. Delays were abundant, but some airlines canceled flights altogether, leaving passengers scrambling for other options. And they said that since this is out of their control because it's for weather, that they can't pay for a hotel and they couldn't pay for like yeah. food or anything. Because we can't even get the bag. We can't, they told us the bag would be here, the bag's not here. A flood warning remains in effect in Morris County, uh, parts of Morris County, I should say, two and four inches, approximately between two and a half and four and a half inches of rain have fallen in that area so far. And as Mike alluded to earlier, there could be even more rain on the way. For now, we're live here, though, outside Newark Penn Station. Dan and Tashani, back to you. Briella, thank you.